Welcome to the old Lumens channel again. Uh, this video is about a idea I have for a switch uh, to allow me to use uh, QTC material uh, to create an infinite adjustment flashlight. Uh, the light I'm, I'm going to do is, is going to be a copper light, uh, one, inch, one inch copper pipe and a pipe cap. Anyways, the switch idea is <clears throat> one, of the, one of the problems that I see with using the QTC material is if you screw anything to tighten, then you're going to be twisting that QTC material as you screw. Okay, I mean, if you have QTC material and you're turning a screw into it, it's going to twist that material and ruin it. Uh, even if you if you were to make a, a, a metal plate against it, you're still if you turn that whole thing, you're going to twist that material and wear it out. So, what I wanted to do was just compress the material. Just as you're screwing, compress the material, just like you'd step on a pad. You know, no no twisting action, no other motion, just straight up and down compression. Okay, that should make it last longer. So I had an idea for it. And basically what I've done is I've, I've just taken some, you know, parts laying around the house to make this up. I took a, uh, a half inch uh, uh, copper fitting cap, okay, end cap, and cut it into two pieces. I made one piece here in the, in the end of this uh, uh, half inch PVC uh, tube, tubing. This is a coupling, half inch PVC coupling. And I notched the copper cap, and I notched the coupling, okay? And I've notched the copper cap big enough that, um, wider than the coupling notches, so that uh, you won't have electrical uh, contact as you're, as you're moving the plunger. Then for the plunger, what I've done is I've, I've taken a plastic bolt. Now, I'm not going to, I wouldn't use a plastic bolt, but I've done a bolt so I can sort of see what I've done with this. I have a plastic bolt and I have a couple of plastic nuts that I've uh, epoxy together. And then at the end of that, I have a copper ring, okay, that's at the very end, which will touch against the QTC material. And that copper ring has two tabs on it, all right. Those tabs prevent the copper ring from twisting, okay? So as I twist to compress, it just moves the thing up and down, all right? That's all it does. It just compresses by pressure, but it can't twist, okay? Now, when all is said and done, I wouldn't use a bolt because I want to have uh, a... Uh, method right from the outside of twisting okay so there'll be a knob on the outside where I can twist all right and on the inside from that what I'll do is I'll take another piece of the other piece of copper off the coupling or off the end cap and I'll put it in the top section here but it will be soldered to the one inch copper cap okay so that that holds the thing in place then instead of a actual bolt it'll be a threaded piece of plastic which will be able to thread into a knob okay then it's it's independent of the cap the whole the, the screw the threaded screw the knob and everything can move Okay, and make your adjustment. Of course, and I don't have a, a little C clamp. All I got is, is these rings. But basically, on the underside, you would have to put some kind of a ring, cut a notch, all the, all the way around the the, uh, the threads. You know, so that you can fit a ring in there like a C clip. Okay, a small C clip, and fit that on the on the underside, uh, inside the cap, so that it doesn't 
bounce all over the place. Okay, it stay it, it stays in place. So the the bolt just all the, all the threaded rod does is just turn, and as it turns, the nuts move up and down on the threaded rod, and it compresses the material. Okay, pretty neat. Pretty neat. I think it'll work fine. Um, this is just a prototype. I'm just playing around with it to see how it's going to work, and uh, I think it'll work great. What'll happen is I'll I'll have to take and and use a, not a wire probably, but some of that uh, braided cloth, copper cloth, and solder it on to one of the tabs, and then solder it up into the inside of the cap, so that you do make contact once you start touching. Okay. Uh, and also that way, you know, you take the, you, you can take the whole cap assembly off, you know, just take the whole thing off so that you can change the batteries in the, in the pipe bomb, I guess is what I'm going to call it. I'll just call it a pipe bomb. Um, but that's the idea. Uh, I, I'm going to work on it and continue with it some more. I need to find some, uh, plastic rod that is reverse thread because right now with a, a standard thread, what's going to happen is you're going to have to turn backwards to back the nut off and compress and turn forward to relieve it and shut your light off and I don't want it to be backwards from normal so I need to find reverse thread plastic rod where it will when you turn normally like you want to turn something on it will compress because the nuts backing off and when you turn back to shut it off it will shut it off so it's just a reverse thread but it shouldn't be that big of a problem I hope to be able to do that but this is the basic idea of uh, making a, a QTC switch that uh, will just compress the material that's it